although statistics and probability are often mentioned together and often used interchangeably, they focus on slightly different matters. Statistics analyzes randomness within past events, while probability builds upon patterns identified by statistics in order to predict future events. Machine learning is heavily data-driven, and there are typically various aspects of randomness to that data. Which data points are sampled, the order in which they are sampled, or the samples used for training and testing a model? There is not only randomness in the data, but there may be randomness among different learning algorithms as well. Two different algorithms may produce similar outcomes, but they may produce slightly different results simply because the algorithms follow different steps to obtain the result. They may not only produce slightly different results, but they may have different performance characteristics as well. For example, one algorithm may take a few seconds to run, while another takes a few minutes. One algorithm may perform best on small data, while another works best on large data sets. The models produced in machine learning are often described using the term stochastic. With stochastic modeling, individual data samples are inherently random and can't be perfectly predicted. Together, the entire set of data could be shown to follow a general pattern. By analyzing the general patterns established by the entire set, on the average, you can make reasonably good predictions about individual data samples. The random nature of machine learning models leads to some uncertainty, which must be managed to produce good models. To reduce uncertainty in machine learning models, you must use probability to your advantage. If different sets of data and different algorithms will produce uncertainty in the results, then getting more variety in those aspects will help you factor out uncertainty in your models. Making sure the data is clean and correct will help to make patterns in the data more apparent. For example, you might employ strategies such as running the same algorithm many times on different samples or running several different algorithms, testing the resulting models and picking the one that produces the best results or running several different algorithms, allowing each one to cast its vote for the answer and taking the wisdom of the crowd as the answer or selecting the right data, data that is relevant to the problem or reducing noise, the data values that are incorrect or misleading, making it harder for machine learning algorithms to find the important data patterns or the important patterns in the data. Now let's talk about random number generation. The programming code or algorithms used in machine learning also involves some aspect of randomness. For example, some algorithms are based on a random number sequence generated by the computer. However, the random number sequence typically generated by a computer are not truly random. They are produced by a deterministic math function that returns the same sequence of numbers which are mixed up to appear random. To provide an element of randomness to the output, computers use a seed value, such as the current time when the program runs, to seed the random number generator. This makes the results appear to be random. The function is sometimes called pseudorandom because it produces the same sequence of numbers each time it runs. You can provide your own seed value to the random number generator, and if you provide the same value each time, it will always produce the same sequence of random numbers each time. This is often purposely done in machine learning and is considered a best practice, so the algorithm will produce consistent results.